Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 for this special episode with me, Mr. Sealy P. Carrying on from the last episode, uh, I've got the liming done on field one. I did the first squirt with chemical fertilizer, and now I'm putting manure down. This, I wasn't going to speak over this, this was a bit I'd pre recorded. I'm going to say this now. Um, because of the irony of the situation, because I know if I don't speak over this, people will comment before we get to the next bit. Um, yeah, something went wrong uh, due to changes in government regulations. We'll go with that. Um, so, fertilising from here, I'm going to go and get some fertiliser once I've run out from the cow farm. Which I'm doing now. There's not a huge amount here at the moment, but... I should be able to fill up from here, and then when I filled up from here, I'll go and get it from my um, new factory. Uh, I don't think I'll run out from there, but if I do run out from there, then I'll go and get it from uh, the manure purchase point that I put in by Rural Farm South. Uh, so yeah, I'll get this done, and um, yeah, then we will move forward. I've got strawberries to sell and some other bits and bobs, so seal that, and I will see you possibly tomorrow, maybe into July. We are into August, people. It's August 1. Um, some, ch <laughs> some changes have happened. The local government decided that three fertilising states would not be required anymore. Only two. This has come with some problems. Um, so, yeah. 
all that manure spreading I did on field one, the muck spreading, prep of the fields, all that kind of thing. Let's have a look at the map, shall we? Uh, if we scroll down, our cotton field is ready to harvest. We'll be getting on with that today. Um, let's go across growth. There we go. We'll go back the other way. So, uh, I cut all the grass. I'll show you that. We're going to head over. I've got, I'm going to take some eggs to sell. Uh, but I had ploughed that. I cultivated it to change the field state. I limed it. And then I went over it with chemical fertilizer once. Then I was going over it with, with manure. I used the manure that I had here at the cow farm. And I went and got manure from my manure factory. Three fertilizing states. I had three fertilizing states on that. Three fertilizing states on that. And three on that. So when it was changed and decided upon, if you look top right, fertilizer, it's shown two now. All of these disappeared. So... Bearing in mind I hadn't even put seed in the ground yet on here, I thought, okay, I haven't seeded yet, I'll cultivate the whole lot, change the field state, I'll put fertiliser down. Won't let me. That I don't just put corn in, won't let me either. So, yeah, I'm not going to get as great a yield as I thought on any of my crops. Happy days. Anyway, strawberries are continuing apace, as you can imagine. But we haven't delivered our eggs yet, so I'm going to take some eggs. Actually, let's start that up. Open the boot. Looks like what we got. Let's go. My lumber operations up on the hill are going great. I was going to do cotton, um, do the cotton harvest. I'm just going to get a regular cotton harvester so we can get fabric underway at more of a pace. We'll be using cotton as well as wool. I've got wool to actually to deliver as well or to put into the production. But up on the hill, ready for, I'm going to put a new plantation up on the hillside. I've done a load of logging. I've taken a second load to my new sawmill. Uh, excuse my voice. Uh, there may be some banging and crashing. Um, I don't think in case you weren't aware, we are still up um, at the cottage in the lakes. Hopefully I'm going to do a walk and talk in a little while once this video is up or at least processing. We are heading home on Saturday morning. So um, the, the um, farmhouse, uh, Graysondale, the roof needs repairing. So scaffolding has been put up and the roofers have turned up today. <laughs> Farm dog hates it, he's been barking constantly. So uh, we'll see how that goes. It's all good fun, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, the uh, new sawmill is producing well. North sawmill is chugging away. Uh, I'll top those up as I need to. We'll keep on going. Um, like I say, my, my goal is roller coaster. And while I was waiting on doing the roller coaster, it was a case of, you know what, I'm going to switch to farming as well, so we'll get a bit of everything in. Um, I'll take this down to the eggs, but I'll show you what we'll be doing. So, I cut all the grass there, didn't I? I cut all the grass here, and I turned some of it to hay, not all of it. I did take the liberty of putting in the grass dryer, um, the Raging Reapers one that came out the other day. So what I did was a mix of both brilliant stuff. Our crop is growing. I'm wondering now, in the first growth stage, whether or not... What is that? That looks like soy bean. Same wheat. Whether it'll let me put someone now. Yeah. Your bonus fertilising zero. Yeah, just won't let me. So yeah, I did some hay, some grass. So I put a load in the silage clamp. I was trying to balance out how much silage and hay I had. So I had half and half the doing my top mix ration mixes. I think I just about got it right. I think it worked out, hey, I've got about 520,000 litres. I've got a little bit less now because I made a load of turpentine ration. And silage, I think I've got about 480, so not far off. This, is this ready to uncover yet? No, let's just see what that's saying. Oh, it's not far off. That's good. Right, turn that off. 
yes I put a grass dryer in so I did some hay as you saw me doing some into the grass dryer some silage some you know, I just did a bit of everything so it's all good so what we're going to do now is take the eggs I'm going to go and get myself cotton harvester I think we're going to go with the case one I'm going to do square bales they'll be easier to manoeuvre uh, I'm thinking actually I probably need to get my wheel loaded down the big wheel loader would be easier to shift them around with that I think. Um, boat building did continue because I still had some resources there so I thought you know what I'll just um, I'll put some more bits and bobs in there and it looks like it looks like the boat's outside right. So we get for our eggs. Roadside eggs 12 grand that'll do. What's this saying? Oh no, there's still some construction, so it won't be today. If it, it'd be, yeah, it'd definitely be tomorrow. Yeah, it's all the fabric and stuff, isn't it? Have I got enough fabric in there? Yeah, we should be good. Right. Cotton. Where's all the fencing gone? Oh, is that part of the construction? Part of the next... Hang on a minute. Is that... Is that a watchtower in the middle? That's cool. Because the, the changes have been quite slow, I hadn't even really noticed it. And Yeah, well, the fencing's gone. Tower there. There's a barn there. What? Hang on, that says Ride is waiting. Hang on a minute. I started in August. Two day months. I'm into my. I've, I've literally just got into my second year, haven't I? Everything I read, everything I'd said, it takes three years. So even if you put stuff in, like for people that was, was jumping ahead, and you were cheating stuff in, it would still take three game years to build. I've done one. Right, is waiting. Really? Dude. Where do I get on it? Here, I shoot. Block press L3. <gasps> no way. This is what we've been built up to. Oh, this is just awesome. <laughs> oh, scary bit of lean there. I'm not a big fan of roller coasters in real life, but this is pretty cool. Oh, lie. Oh. That's insane. You don't often hear me rendered speechless. That's 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 not right. That's not right. It's, it's right. It's brilliant. But why did it everywhere? It was either three years or two years, and I've only done a year. The roller coaster's done, people. Let's ride. That is just brilliant. Although I have lost a sell point, but you know. 
oh, who asked me the other day? Someone messaged me and said, how do I know how many rides? Because there's that thing about if you do 15 rides, you get super strength. So I'll probably have a go at that. Um, but there must be a log of it somewhere. Statistics, where are we? Yeah, right inside. If we go on statistics, right inside, down the bottom, under collectibles collected, it says number of roller coaster rides, one. So that's where you find out whether you're close to 15 or not. Oh, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. I thought I'd do, I'd do the cotton, I'll do some other bits and bobs. I've got uh, some things I want to do farming related, and then I'll skip through until we get to it completed. And I'll just keep a track on how much it requires, what still needs putting in. That means now this, the other sawmill I built, so I can keep up with everything. I kind of technically didn't need to. I mean, I kind of technically, I didn't need to. And I've got everything is rammed full of wood, planks long, planks, all the stuff it needs to to produce. I've got resources everywhere. Which means, cha-ching, got a load of wood chips as well. Just waiting for the price to come up on those. Um, oh man, oh that's what I was going to do. Let's go and sort out there's going to be a load of wool, isn't there? That I'll need to load up and move over. Let's go around the back of this way. These other saplings haven't really grown at all. The really tiny ones did, but the, these haven't. Well, I suppose they're supposed to take two years, well, aren't they? So I guess we'll see some growth. We've got some more clothing. I've already sold a load of furniture. Yep, we've got uh, the furniture still chugging away after my mistake a while back when I put the planks onto distributing and it distributed 43,000 litres here. So that's still chugging. Fashion for that on this end. Yep, we've got a load of wall to load up. A load to load. This cheap, I just, I just, I love it. With the auto load, I've been, I've been sort of simulating loading by hand. You don't have to load by hand. I've just been doing that to make it a bit more kind of immersive. But you can just back up, and it will do it. Like that. Right, let's get the cotton underway. Um, yeah, so I was going to I was going to look at deadwood. So after the thing about the fertilising, one of the other things was it says um, that deadwood is now worth more. What that means, um, I'm not too sure. I don't know. Why is that now? Looks like I have to uh, do that. Hang on a minute, why is that? I had 5,000 these in there, didn't I? Now I've got three. Any more in there? Okay, something went wrong there. Oh, it's all there. So where did that all go? Yeah, so I took on a Deadwood contract and the price for the Deadwood contract is the same. So where it says it's worth more, I can only assume they've changed the literage because when every time I did one, and I was a bit disappointed about it because you know you do the Deadwood contract and keep the trees, you're allowed to keep the trees. I think each tree was about 50 litres of lumber or wood chip, which really was neither here nor there. So I'm assuming they've changed the literage. So I was going to do some dead wood, but now I think I'm just going to ride the roller coaster over and over. <laughs> Not going to do it on camera necessarily, but you know. Right. So we'll get a regular... I'll get the uh, wheel loader down as well. Oh, that's something we need to check. Uh, what's for sale? Oh, I was hoping for a big old tractor or something. I could afford to buy a tractor outright, I guess. 
I think I was thinking, if I'm going to do a Deadwood one, I'm not quite sure whether I'll get onto it now or not. Maybe someone asked way back about the Fanzelts. That one. How much is it? 235 grand. I can afford to buy that. Bit more horsepower on there. Oh. Don't really need that, but BKT or Trelleborg. Trelleborgs look a bit more grippy. Licence plate none. Shall I get one? Yeah, why not? Oh, that's not what I was coming here for, was it? <laughs> Cotton technology. Uh, yeah, we'll go for square bales. Why not? Uh, let's lease that. What we'll make on clothing that the wool produces will more than cover the cost of, um, of hiring it. Oh man, I'm still blown away by the roller coaster. I honestly, I can't get me head around it. I was, I was just so focused on the fact it's going to be three years. It's going to take absolutely ages. It's going to take me a while. I'm going to have to build up to it. That's brilliant. Let's open this up. I don't know how much we're going to get off of here. The telltale is going to be actually to see whether or not this is actually fully nerfed or not will be, once this is harvested, I'll see if I can get a fertilising state on it. If it won't let me put a fertilising state on it, then we could be in trouble. But in all honesty, if that is the case, and I have reached a point where it's all a bit, you know, uh, what we could do, what we could do is, now the roller coaster is built, because that's what I was aiming for, wait for that last boat to be built, which will be my third, and we could move on because all of the yeah like i say i just i wanted to stay on here i wanted to do the roller coaster that was my aim that was you know there was doing stuff while that was building but now that's built we could yeah the problem is because i've lost my fertilizing states on here the yield's going to be dreadful absolutely dreadful i'll be lucky if i get a bale off of this so annoyed about that. Right, I'll run around the outside. I'll get a work going on this. And then um, I'm going to go and have to go on the roller coaster again. <laughs> I have been up at my logging point up near the wood production. Um, I've been doing all the rock breaking with the hydraulic breaker. And what all I've been doing at the moment, because I didn't take a trailer up there, I've just been putting it into a pile. So I've got a load more rock to bring down to my lime crusher if I want to. I'm just thinking as well, how much this has changed. I mean, the map in general, through the logging, but also all the stuff I've put in. And it's no different to any other Let's Play, any other map. You know, when you think this was all forest, that I cleared, and not all of it really, every area that I've cleared and put stuff in, the malt production, once my barley harvest is ready to go, I've got feed for the chickens and I could get the malt production going, that, that ran out of wheat, but I wanted to keep hold of the wheat I had because I didn't want to, um, didn't want to use up all the feed for the chickens until I had more, but that's almost ready to harvest. But there's all the productions here, the sawmill, the all-in-one production. We bought the North sawmill, the wood production, the extra sawmill, which I don't need now. We'll be curious, I think. Actually, that's a good point. I haven't tried that. I wonder if my Jeep, whether or not I can put um, wood beams and long planks and things like that into that. I know in reality you wouldn't be able to, but, but if it auto loads, I wonder if that would work. We shall see. Let's 
outside of the circle. Of the circle. Oh man, just oh. <laughs> awesome. And it's amazing how much pressure I kind of weirdly put on myself that I needed to make sure I was kept checking it and checking it and checking it so that it was, you know, I was keeping up with it. I didn't skip ahead a month or whatever and find that it was production stalled because I, I, I'd i missed something that needed to be replenished on the roller coaster. Now it's done, I think, oh, I haven't got to worry about that now. That's, that's off my radar. Absolutely brilliant. I have arrived with reinforcements. Uh, the wheel loader is down here and I've got a bag handler. I've just remembered these are, these are 20,000 litre barrels of square ones, aren't they? It's the round ones that are tens. I don't think I'm going to get 20,000 litres, but it should let me unload a partial bale because we're up over 15,000 litres now. The moment of truth with regard to the fertilising states, I'm assuming at this point that it's only the fields that were done prior to the change, change in regulations. Uh, so what we'll do... Yeah, it looks like that went darker, didn't it? So I think any field that then gets processed post-regulation change. Yeah, there we go. That's all right. I was concerned. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I'll probably mulch this and then the two fertilising states should make life a little bit easier, shouldn't it? Let's just spin that around to the stop there because it's not done completely yet, but we need there. Uh, I've just completed, as you saw, ride number seven. I'm anticipating before the end of the episode to so have the cotton bale. The, we'll get one, but you know, so it's going to be near enough 20,000 litres in so we can get some cotton fabric underway. And um, I want to get 15 rides in so we can check out the super strength thing. I think what we'll do is we'll go up to our sawmill, the new sawmill, and see if I can lift up the wood beams and stuff. I know a few people have messaged me, and I can't remember what people said, what the weight limit was you could lift with the super strength. It's an interesting thing to add in, it, you know, so I suppose it's a little Easter egg, isn't it, thrown in there, but now we're looking to hop in. Or is this going to be frustrating? And, oh no, what, we're on 16, it's not 18,000, isn't it? Um, I'll say, we're going to get 20,000 with a little bit left over, I don't know. I think we're going to be just under 20, aren't we? That's all good. So now I had other plans. I talked about fish farming and that was the next thing I was going to do. I might as well talk about it now because I was, I'm was i not... Um, I'm probably not going to do it now. I might save it for a new map, actually. The fish farming. I just got, Because we were next to the river... I thought it kind of worked really well, and I was going to use the Omatana open gardens 
because it required corn and soybean and wheat and then mineral feed. So my, my intended plan was to place the fish farming over by the boatyard. Let's do it myself. Over by the boatyard. And then put in some of the Omatana gardens because you can do all of those crop types in the Omatana gardens and it would give me instant access to those crops rather than having to wait. So once the pallets of them were ready, I'd have them there. Then I thought, you know what, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll do it with crops. That's why I put in the soybean field, the corn field, and um, a new wheat field, so that I could actually use crops that I'd put in the ground myself. Then I changed my mind again. I thought, you know what, I'll do a combination of both. I've put the crops in. I'm going to be harvesting them when they're ready to go. So the plan was to do the Omatana open gardens to tide me over until my crops were ready. Uh, so I was going to do a mixture of both in, in there. That way it could sort of appease all angles. Um, I wasn't just relying on the open gardens. But now, like I say, I mean, I suppose I can still do that. It feels like I'm, an, I'm abandoning what I'd started. But again, like I say, I was, I was only... I was doing all of those things until the roller coaster was done. My plan in my head was always once the roller coaster was done, I was kind of finished because it started off as just logging. And I was just going to do logging until the roller coaster was done. That was my mission. I was I was here, I was in the area, I was like I said right at the start of the let's play. Um, the company making the roller coaster had gone out of business, they'd left a load of resources and it was my job to get all the rest of the stuff to get it done. So once it was done, technically, that was me kind of thing, you know? So yeah. I guess the question now is, uh, and this has happened sooner than I expected, is the quest for, um, the quest for a map. I'm not sure what I want to... I've been looking at various ones that are out, but no people did su suggest a whole load of ones. There's one that I've been really waiting for, and I, I don't know what would be perfect time. It's a Friday today or tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a video tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, it's Saturday, potentially, when I get home. Depends on how long the drive home is. And I'm going out for dinner with my lovely wife this evening. Will let me do a partial bell, that's good. So, potentially, depending on what time mods drop, because they were late ish yesterday, we had a day where they, it was like midday, then we had a day it was about two o'clock, and then yesterday was about four o'clock, so it's, it's kind of hard to gauge when it's going to be. Grab the wheel loader. I can finish off with the fertilising and then I can mulch it if I want to mulch it. Which again I might do off camera. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure really what to do now. I mean, like I say, the, the roller coaster was the end game, so. I haven't got far. I'm thinking about it. I could have just unloaded that straight into the delivery point, couldn't I? For the. Uh, the all-in-one production. Could have done that. Let's go down to fabric cotton. That's now being produced. I have got my fabric on distribution so that it will make clothing, which all I, I need to do is, at the moment, I think I've got enough fabric over at the boatyard to complete that, um, that third boat. But clothes, yeah, we should be good now. That'll produce the fabric. And then move on to the clothes. I can turn that off at any point I want to. Switch back to fabric if I want. 
that's all in. That's what I was intended to do there. We'll get those to at some point. Right. Next mission, then. So there may be one more episode. Yes, I wanted to show the Deadwood thing. I just bought the fan salt. And I want to use that because it's got the double winch. I mean, to be fair, my Jeep's got a winch at the front and a winch at the back. And this, on an occasion, if, let's just say, for example, I had rolled this over. You can use the winch to right it. It's brilliant. <laughs> it works really well. It's very snow runner. It's, what's not to like? I think every vehicle in game now should be equipped with a winch. It works brilliantly. Right. I'm going to see you when we hit ride 15. And then we'll check out the super strength. Number of roller coaster rides 14. Number 15 is about to take place. We'll have a bit more of a look around this time. I was just so in awe of <laughs> the first time. It is steep, isn't it? That's. <laughs> It's one of those weird things, you know? When I first started playing FS15, if someone had said to me, oh yeah, they're going to bring out one with a roller coaster you build, you'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Not going to happen. And building it is one thing, but then getting to ride it as well, it's fantastic. when you think about it, the amount of time it took to build, the amount of resources. Well, then you got paid for the resources, which was pretty good. Um, the ride, I must say, like any roller coaster ride, isn't it? There's the anticipation, and depending on where you are when you're going to ride a roller coaster, the hours of queuing up to get on it, and it's all over. Bang, so fast. Right, let's check. Number of roller coaster rides 15. The adrenaline and excitement from the ride gives you super strength. Have I become mighty? Let's see. I can do a double one with this actually. I'll check out my new sawmill. Whether or not I can lift up these pallets and then whether or not this will load them up. If it does, that actually does make transportation of pallets. I know it can. It makes it easier. I'm just thinking of going around and selling everything I've got. If I just unleash everything, put it all onto storing because a lot of it's set on distributing at the moment oh blimey, yeah, okay <laughs> we've got a fair bit stacked up here um, so, can I pick these up? I am mighty I <laughs> wonder how long it lasts, whether that's just indefinite now or just the adrenaline, I, must, I suppose it must be you can't have it turn on and off and on and off So if you weren't aware of it, I know a lot of people are, but if you weren't, Easter egg! <laughs> That's cool! Um, and I suppose the next to test them is, where will these load into here? Oh, they will! Oh my word, okay. Uh, right, well, this is like going down to B&Q. Do you have B&Q in the US? I think you did, didn't you? I always remember the old uh, Vauxhall Saphir I used to own before we got the van going down to B&Q to get lumber and stuff when I was building the deck and various different jobs I've done. I'm trying to work out whether you could fit stuff in and sort of pushing it through between the chairs you'd have lengths of lumber. I never had, uh, had a roof rack on it. Um, I had roof bars to the sides but never had a roof rack. But you had stuff like pushed right through and it would go over the headrests of the front seats and at a diagonal across into the passenger seat right the way down well, this side on a, on a UK vehicle but and uh, if ever I went down with Mrs Silly P she'd be like hunched forward or crouched with stuff wrapped around her ears and that kind of thing all good fun <laughs> so we're doing the same thing here with our newfound 
strength. And we'll take this and sell it. And I think, because I'm pumping, I'm, I'm absolutely pumped. So this is just, this has been a great day. And hopefully if I can get this edited and up and processing, I can get out and do a bit of a walk and talk. It was raining a lot of yesterday, I didn't really get out. So we went out for a walk, but I couldn't really record anything. Um, the Whitehaven walk and talk that I was saying about doing, I'm going to wait till the next time we come up, because I need to do a bit more research. I know a lot about Whitehaven Harbour, and I know a lot about the the history of it, but I want to get it right. I want to do it justice, you know? How much have we got in here? 9,000. What are we going to get? 9,000 litres of wood beams. So, yeah, I think I probably will. Um, next time we come up, which I think is going to be April, uh, Mrs. Silly Pete turns 50. I should have probably said that, but... So as do I this year, we both turned 50 this year. She's having a party of, of you know, 50th. And then we're coming up and we're staying at a place called Burns Farm. There'll be some videos from up there. Um, we're, we're glamping for the first few days, I think. And then we're coming here, I think. I don't know if we're in the barn this time. I've just gone past Cell Point. I'm so, I've just got so, so much into the habit of coming to the, uh, the roller coaster. So yeah, I'll try and I'll try and prep it all and get it done for them. Right, so let's open the boot. Forty-seven grand, we'll take that. And with that, we have come to the end of this epic episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.